Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and wanted to know, and it traces pretty good, but they just wanted to know how to draw it. And you can see it's a clip art. So I just drew one. My heart's not as pretty as that heart, but you could change that heart and make it anything you wanted. Uh, this is really pretty easy. Let's take... So under your polygon tool, you'll have your common shapes or it depends on what version you have. You might say basic shapes and you grab your heart, hold down your, don't hold down any control key or anything. And you could make your, your heart maybe more like that one there. And you can play with that uh, as much as you wanted. Click on it, go to object and convert it to a curve. And now you've got nodes and you could take the nodes and alter you know, a little bit of the curve and always remember you only need to do one side uh, let's take that note away let's grab this and maybe make make a little bit more pump that looks pretty good on one side and then just take a two-point line start moving hold down the control button and then get your pick tool and with that x part have it snap to that node right there and then just delete this side and go in and delete that line. Control D and make a duplicate, holding down the control button, flip it over. I always use your smart fill tool to fill it in and that basically welds or joins the two halves together. So now we have a pretty good looking heart. We'll delete these two and go up to effects and contour, contour to the outside with square corners, for some reason it works better, a half of an inch. Then take, well, select it all and break the contour apart. Go to object, break contour apart. I always select it all again and make sure it's ungrouped and it is. Then take this line, double click on your pen tool and let's make it 16 points and hit OK. Now to click on that line, go up to object and convert that outline to an object. And then let's left click, no fill, right click outline. And you see what we're doing here. Now we're going to take this and control D and make a duplicate. Move it out of the way. Reduce it a little bit, make it a smaller heart. And then just kind of put it in there anywhere you want. And then you, you know, there's a couple of weld tools you could probably do, but I don't think there's anything that's going to do what we need to do. So I'm going to take out these lines. I'm going to bring in that other heart and just kind of show you what we need. We need, you know, that to be all black and that to be all black. So that's why I got rid of that, those lines there. And then you've just got to kind of use your imagination on on these other parts you need to delete. Like this is gonna be the white. So we want it to circulate all the way around. So I'm gonna delete these. And then that way the white can go all the way around it. And this is your white line. So you want it to have come in. This is your white line. So you want it to come in. And then you can delete these lines that are just extras. Go ahead and delete. Let's see that line and that line, and this is gonna be your black. And then just take your smart fill tool, fill in that, fill in that, fill in the outside. And now you've got a line down the middle, but just take this and left click, no fill, right click out, oh, whoop, just the opposite. That's the opposite I wanted to do. Right click, no outline. And now you have I think my heart looks just as good as theirs. Theirs is a little bit different, but you can make that heart. And it's not, it, that heart would probably actually trace. Uh, but that's how I would do it. I hope that answers their question. Thank you for watching.